Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got another gameplay slash tip video for you today. Today, I'm going to be going over some tips on offense and defense that I really think you should be doing just about every single series, every single play, and every single game to maximize your chance for success, whether it's in that play or that series, or to win that game ultimately, because that's ultimately the goal. So, I'm going to go over that today. Before I get into the video, though, if you guys could do me a little bit of a favor, scroll down a little bit, hit the like button. Uh, every time you guys hit the like, like, share, shares, comments, all that stuff really helps out my channel, it really helps out my videos, so if you want to show support, please show support by doing it that way, and if you like what you see, make sure to stick around by hitting the subscribe button. So other than that, we're going to go I'm going to start off before the game, which is actually in your roster. I'm playing Mutt, but if you don't play Mutt, you can ultimately do this in just about any game mode that you play. You're going to want to maximize your roster, and when I, what I mean by that is on this particular set, you can see I'm using George Kittle as pretty much like a move offensive player. I'm using him in multiple ways, because maximizing your roster a lot of times is just finding a way to get your best players involved you're going to see george Kittle in five wide receiver sets then when it comes to your actual superstar traits you want to make sure you maximize your system now my system i'm using uh lamar jackson i like to throw a lot i especially like to deep pass a lot so that's why i got bazooka it throws you know 15 extra yards onto uh onto the passing ability of this quarterback which is important to my system i also got roaming dead eye dashing dead eye and escape artist because i like to move around a lot and a lot of times i take off from the pocket my second active superstar is my running back uh i mean that's that's half your offense. Half your offense is passing, half your offense is running. Uh, although I still like to pass more, so that's why I have backfield master because I want more hot route options. I throw to my running back a lot. It's a very good, uh, useful weapon. Um, and then I also got jukebox. Jukebox is only two points. I only had room for two points, or else I'd also have evasive. To me, evasive wasn't necessarily worth it, though, because the spin move I don't really use that much. I definitely use the juke. And then I also got uh, first one free. I didn't really think any of those were that great, but I had to have one. So that's what I got for my setup right now. So back to the game. One of the first things you're going to do in every offense offensive series in every game is you want to make sure that you maximize your formation and what that means is you want to set up your audibles basically have four different plays a lot of times I like to have two running two passing and I like to make sure that they are all working against different types of defenses so my 0-1 trap that's if I have a that's more like a space eater play um, it's a very specific look it only really works best against uh, formations that are kind of spread but I have that look and then I have the halfback zone week that's probably a little bit better uh, towards things like cover two uh, man coverage Anything where the safety's back, that's going to be a good play. Once again, different look. Four verticals, that's really more like a cover two play, a cover two beater. Uh, specifically, it doesn't really do much else, but I can also adjust that for, for man plays and stuff like that. And then the PAY drag wheel, which is something that I can use against just about any defense, um, man or zone. So I really have something for just about everything. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my fifth play as probably the play that I'm going to use the most because it's going to be right ready, available right when it come out. My fifth play is going to be uh, the halfback stretch so if you maximize your your formation and you maximize your audibles now you have five plays to choose from where i think a lot of people are only working with half a deck and they're probably coming out in only four and the halfback stretch is another type of run play that works against cover three and cover four i already told you about how i have a play for cover two runs now i have a play for cover three and cover four runs when you get to the line, one of the first things you want to do is read the defense. Maximize your reads. It's not just reading whether it's cover 2, cover 3, cover 4. It's also watching what your user does as far as adjustments. So on this play here, he's going to move this safety in leaving him possibly vulnerable over the top. That plus the fact that this cornerback is not directly in front of the receiver, which means that I can either get a free release on a streak, which is most likely, which looks like he's not necessarily going to press, or it means that he's coming in on a blitz altogether, which is what it looks like. So I'm going to make my adjustments based off of these reads alone, not necessarily the defense. So I'm going to switch over. I'm going to switch to a pass play, the four verticals. I'm going to streak that B route, hoping that my receiver is fast enough to get passed before they can recover. And then I'm going to maximize my pass once the play starts ultimately i have to pass lead away from that potential safety if he can get back that's the only way this play is going to work and i also want to lob it and try to burn that guy with speed no nope. like i said i necessarily have the speed with andre johnson he's not my fastest guy but you can see that was definitely the correct read so on the next play we're going to go right to the level sale 
Uh, coming to the line, I see he's in a cover two, uh, but ultimately I want to maximize my misdirection. This is a very simple uh, play to run. A lot of people know this play. They typically see the running back go in the flat, and they're typically uh, distracted by it. That plus the fact that the A route is a good cover two play. So I'm going to set it up like that's where I'm going to go, and then ultimately I'm just going to go to the B route once he hesitates over the middle. Then you want to maximize your finish because if you don't safe catch on a play like that, you're not going to make it happen. You're going to get knocked out. The ball is going to come out. So you have to make sure that you're always altering your pass and altering your catch on just about every single play. Now, the next play, I'm going to do it all over again. We're going to make our reads. You can see right here, this is a, a route that obviously looks like it's going to get outside of the guy right in front of him. He pulls the safeties down once again. So this is going to be something that uh, is going to be a really easy play to run. Then I maximize my misdirection. You can see users have a tendency of chasing the motion receiver. So that's what he's going to chase. Then you can see this guy gets right past the receiver, but I still have to make the right throw. If I throw a bullet pass, it's not going to work. I have to lob this pass, then switch over, make sure that I out sprint the defender, make sure I got a rack catch as well, because that and sprinting definitely give you a speed boost. So we score on that play. Moving on to the defensive side, now we're going to do pretty much the exact same setup. I like to build my defense as a pass defense first because I expect to score a lot of points, which means I expect you have to pass to keep up. So both of my cornerbacks are basically the same. I got short route KO, medium route KO, and deep route KO. So ultimately, whatever route they're asked to cover, they should lock it down on both sides. And then I got shut down on one, which is tighter coverage. Uh, the other one, I have universal coverage. I'm not sure which one's better. That's why I'm kind of trying it out. Let me know in the comment section if you know which one is better. It says, you know, improve catch knockouts in man and zone versus tighter coverage. I'm not sure which one's better. And then my last superstar is Derek Brooks, who has an insanely high uh, zone coverage. I have him mid-zone KO. Uh, and once again, we have shut down for tighter coverage. So hopefully when I put this guy at a defensive end spot, which is ultimately what I plan to do, I'm going to put him at defensive end in this nickel cover too, and I'm going to drop him back a lot uh, into zone coverage, in the mid-read zones, uh, which is why I have that mid-zone KO. So doing all this is going to maximize my defense uh, from top to bottom, even before the game starts. Then when you come to the line, you're going to want to maximize your adjustments one more time. You can see right here, I'm, I'm shifting my defensive line. I'm putting my guys in the hooks. I'm putting myself in a blitz. All that stuff I'll explain. Uh, but you can see, based on the fact that it's a man coverage, I'm shifting my line to try to take away any runs to the open side of the field because all the receivers are on the left side here, so there's no cornerback on the right side to hold it down. And that's exactly what I have with my uh, with my cornerback. You can see he's on the outside. He's man to the running back. So if anything happens, run to that side. He's going to come right in and take that away. Now, I don't know if you saw that and he flipped it because the next play, he runs it to the receiver side. Good read. Like I said, I'm not saying it's always going to work out, but I'm making the correct reads. I'm making the correct adjustments. That's all you can really ask. And eventually, this system is going to work out. So the next play, I do the exact same thing, trying to take away any runs to the side that I'm vulnerable. And sure enough, he's obviously using one of his more successful money plays. On the next play, he switches his formations up. I make my adjustments to match once again, trying to take away any inside zones. Uh, sure enough, he has a little bit of success. That's not as much as he's been having, uh, but we're definitely slowing him down. So now that I see that he's run three straight times in two different formations, I'm going to maximize my reads. I'm pretty sure that he's going to continue to run. So we're going to switch up our formation entirely, send a little bit of a blitz his way because it seems like he has no real interest in passing. Uh, and then on the next play, I mean, we don't necessarily get to stop, but like I said, we pretty much have a down to a T what he wants to do. He wants to run the ball a lot. So I'm not going to leave this formation because ultimately, like I said, you're going to have to pass at some point. You're not going to be able to run all the way down the field. Uh, change up my my you know position a little bit this cover four is going to do a little bit of a better job stopping the run when it comes to the safeties dropping into the box and sure enough on the next play we get the stop so now it's second and eight it's going to be a little bit different now he's probably going to have to pass so that takes me to my next read which is like i said i would explain later about how i have my defensive coverage set up to maximize my adjustments like i said i got Derek brooks here dropping into a hook or a vert hook and then i have uh, my user here i have him on a blitz because ultimately it takes away any change of direction penalty which not a lot of people know so i'm going to make my user faster so these two things alone are pretty much going to be all that I need to set up this next play. And then you can see right here, we tries to pass in the first play. There's really nothing open. So he's going to roll out. And then I have to maximize my finish. If he's going to roll out, I'm going to send the closest defender, hit the R3 button, try to take away any ability to run. Nope. And he throws the ball out of bounds. So last play here. Third and eight, we're going to go ahead, we're going to maximize our key situations. We've got to get him off the field. Uh, we basically got to get a stop here, and you can see he's going to try to throw on something that's double covered one more time, triple covered, and we get the interception. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. I just wanted to show you guys, I wanted to really break down this system uh, in a way that would, uh, you know, not be distracted by gameplay. But if you want to see the full gameplay, 
from this particular game because it actually turned out to be a very competitive game went all the way down to the wire hit the like button and let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man shut out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below